Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna bring you into our villa and share three ways that you can trust in the universe and the greater plan. So come on in. Now, if I had a dollar for every time I worked with a client on cultivating self-trust, I would be a gajillionaire. <laughs> but self-trust and connection to the universe or source or God, whatever you wanna call it, having that connection is so, so important in your life, not only for a spiritual reason, if you're on a path, and we all are on a path of evolution and growth and spiritual ascension, but actually so that you can feel happier, so that you can feel more patient, so that you can know that when things aren't working out, they really are working out. So the first thing I wanna share, how to build trust within yourself and the universe, because you are one, is to start being open to the signs, being really open to the signs and the synchronicities. Now, signs can come to you as messages, maybe a quote, maybe a song comes onto, you know, onto Spotify or the radio, maybe an animal. There's all these different ways that the universe is speaking to you and you've got to be open and receptive to seeing those signs. Now, when we were searching for a villa, when we first got here to Ubud, I thought that I had found this perfect villa for us. And when we got there, it just didn't feel right. There was just something about it that didn't feel expansive and abundant. It didn't really quite give me the feeling that I had thought. Now, that was my first level of trust. Okay, cool, that's all right. What I thought I was coming to isn't quite here, but I trust in the greater plan. So then I asked for signs. I asked the universe to support me. I took the action to make sure that, you know, I was looking for other villas. And when something came up, I was like, you know what? I've got a feeling that this could be the right one for us. Here's the clincher. Here's the really, really fun part. When we got to this villa, there was so many things that made me go, oh, I think that this is the one. This is where we're meant to be. But come and see this little guy. He was the thing that made me go, oh yeah, haha, <laughs> funny universe. I love the way that the signs really do confirm where you're meant to be. So come and see him. He's right here. Introducing our pet turtle, Richie. <laughs> now, if there was ever a sign for abundance, I think a pet turtle called Richie might be, it <laughs> might take the cake. <laughs> when we got here, we were not expecting obviously a turtle. When they told us that he would be our pet and that his name was Richie, I knew that that was the confirmation from the universe to say, this is where you're meant to be if you wanna feel expansive and abundant. The other thing was there's all these beautiful like plants and greenery by the pool. And actually it looks exactly like a photo that I had on my Pinterest board, on my dream board, um, when I was anchoring, you know, last year to even moving to Bali. So the signs were strong. Richie, he was like the, he was like the confirmation. Like I could not miss this. And I always say to my clients, and I do this for myself, when you get a confirmation, when you get a sign that is just so clear that it makes you laugh, say thank you more please. Because the more you say thank you for the signs, the more signs, the more synchronicities you receive, and that only helps you to feel more trusting in that everything is always working out for your highest good. Okay, so my second hot tip for building trust with the universe is to have a connection practice. And what I mean by that is time where you stop, you meditate, you listen. For me, meditation, journaling, doing um, my affirmations, doing my self Reiki practice is so important for getting me into that space of alignment where I actually can feel patient, feel calm and feel a sense of connection. So. If you don't yet have like those rituals, what I want you to do is consider how could you just bring in even just one minute of just sitting and asking the universe, show me what I need to know and then waiting for the answer. Now that answer may not always come and it may not always be super clear, but if you, and that's why I say practice, each day if you keep showing up for that connection, what you do is you build trust within yourself you start to really connect to your intuition and you do start to begin to feel like you are at one with the universe so you can receive the signs, receive the synchronicities and really know that you are held and supported on your path. 
Now, if you want a little bit of help with creating a spiritual practice, a connection practice that helps you build that kind of trust, you can check out my Miracle Morning course. I'll pop the link down below. I share my five most favorite uh, spiritual practices, but I really do make them very practical. Or you can come jump on over to the Own Your Happy community where this is a monthly membership where you get access to me and all of this amazing goodness, pre-recorded content, live content and a community that will support you to stay in alignment so that you can really build that self-trust within yourself and then also trust within the universe because I know that you've got big dreams just like me. We wanna be you know, creating these magical lives and everything that you desire desires you back. So building the trust, taking the time, using these beautiful practices and rituals will really support you to be in alignment and to become an energetic match for all that you desire. Okay friends, so my third tip on how to build trust with the universe and within yourself is to let go of the outcome. And I know nobody wants to hear that because I am as much of a control freak as you. I want everything to work out the way that I had planned it. But unfortunately, actually fortunately, <laughs> it, it's always working out for your highest good. And that might not be in our human brain limited view. There is so much more out there than we can even perceive. And so if we let go of the outcome, we just play our part, we take the action, we are co-creators with the universe, but then at some point we have to just let go. Let go of the outcome and trust that it's going to unfold in the time and in the space and in the reality in which it's meant to for our highest good. So I often think like when I reflect back on the journey of even getting to this amazing villa, in my mind, I thought, oh, we'll have a one bedroom villa, it'll have a pool um, and it'll have some green space. But I could not have even imagined this, three bedrooms, four bathrooms, a huge pool, a cleaner three times a week, like the amazing things, like 10 minutes from the beach, like the amazing things, a pet turtle called Richie. I couldn't have tried to control this as the outcome. So when I let the outcome go and just said, I trust that we will be where we are meant to live, then I allowed this to come into my reality. So I think this one can be one of the hardest ones to really let go, especially if you like to control, but it's about cultivating the self-connection, like I said in tip number two, and then also just keep asking for the signs and keep receiving them, like I said in number one, to keep you on this path of going, okay, all that's meant for me is coming to me in divine right order. So what it all comes down to is trust really is a game of patience. It's about showing up for yourself, showing up for that greater connection with the universe, knowing that anything you dream can be yours. As long as you keep faith, take the action, release the blocks, do the mindset work to really get yourself anchored into that alignment. You'll start receiving the signs, you are worthy of abundance. <laughs> That's the message from Richie of the day. And also know that you are worthy of living in your highest vibration. So stay aligned, stay nourished, and I will see you in the next video.